What's up friends, John here with the Go Health Yourself channel and uh, I wanted to go over my daily vitamins and this could potentially help someone that's trying to get in good shape and you know get in the best health of their life and I could say for myself I'm the healthiest that I've ever been my entire life and uh, you know it doesn't have to just necessarily pertain to someone with a spinal cord injury but um, for someone you know that's trying to better their life and improve their mood improve uh, you know reduce depression uh, improve your sleep improve your energy and all those things underneath those categories so I take uh, 10 different vitamins uh, every day and I've been working on these this vitamin list for quite a few years now to perfect it and I can say that it's optimal right now I'm getting all the nutrients all the vitamins and all the minerals that my body needs and I, I feel great so Check out these uh, vitamins if you haven't heard of them before or if you're trying to solve an issue uh, yourself, uh, ask, ask me in the comments below or you can email me. So um, we'll get right into it and I wrote all of them down because you know a lot of them um, have a lot of different benefits but I just did the main benefits for each one. And. Uh, We'll start off with the first one. So if I keep looking down, I got my notes here, but we'll start off with the first one with strontium. And uh, strontium is a mineral in the bones and it can create, actually create, create density in the bones. And anybody that knows with a spinal cord injury that um, your bones um, can get weak with a spinal cord injury. I mean, you have to put, you have to go in a standing frame or, ho or however you do it, you have to bear weight on the bones to keep their uh, strength. So the st strontium can create density in the bones and it, it can actually add more bone to your bones. So that's a great supplement to take. And uh, the second one is magnesium malate, and I'm sure you've heard of magnesium, but magnesium supports the nervous system and it is an anti-inflammatory. It also can improve energy. So there's a lot of things that um, involve, there's a lot of benefits that are involved with magnesium malate, but those are just a few. So the third one is acidophilus, and it's actually a probiotic, and it improves your digestive system and overall gut health. So if you wanna look any of these up, you can do more research on them, and if you, they think, if you think they'll benefit you, I highly recommend trying them, so. The fourth one is d -manose and it is a form of glucose and it maintains a healthy bladder and urinary tract. Um, I'm sure if, if you do have a spinal cord injury, I'm sure you've heard of D-Manos before, and that helps a lot uh, reducing UTIs because the bad bacteria attaches to the molecules of the D-Manos and it expels um, that way. So the fifth one is potassium, potassium citrate and it is an essential mineral and it can prevent kidney and bladder stones which uh, early on in the beginning I had an issue with bladder stones so that's something that I, I found helps a lot um, so the sixth one let's see yeah we are on the sixth one and it is vitamin d3 and of course you get vitamin d from the sun but during the winter I take the vitamin d3 supplement and you know vitamin d3 is good for the bones it's good for the muscles uh, it's good for strength, it's good for your immune system, all types of things. So the seventh one is B-complex, and B-complex is, you know, it's the different B vitamins, and that, I've noticed, when I started taking that a few years ago, I stopped getting colds, or at least very minimal. Um, uh, B-complex is also good for cell health, for the eyes, uh, for digestion, for brain function, for energy. And uh, I, I noticed quite a few different things that were beneficial for the B-complex uh, vitamin. And I actually take that every other day because it does stay in your system. And uh, let's see, the eighth one is vitamin K2, and that also supports bone health. And uh, there's a few other things with vitamin K2, but I did not write that down, so you can do your own research on that. And... The ninth one is zinc picolinate, which supports the immune system and it helps with digestive enzymes. And number 10 is chlorella and spirulina. It's a mix of a pill. And chlorella uh, is an antioxidant along with spirulina, but chlorella 
uh, has iron in it. It has a bunch of vitamins and minerals. And um, spirulina is also uh, very similar to it, but it's very rich in nutrients. So all those 10 vitamins are extremely beneficial. And like I've said, I've noticed an, an improvement in everything. And along with these vitamins, I have a very clean diet. I eat very clean. I don't eat any processed sugar. I stay away from dairy products if I can, because they can be, um, a lot of milk and stuff like that has sugar in it, so it's just not good for you. I stay away from flour. So I eat real basic foods. Um, I can give you a few examples, just like grass-fed chicken. Um, I eat quinoa. I also eat like eggs. I eat eggs every day, which are eggs are great for you. Uh, and then of course, exercise. I exercise between four and five times a week, and those four of those days a week, I do pretty heavy lifting. So. Yeah, I, I don't have any issues uh, with my health. Uh, the only issue, of course, is the spinal cord injury, but with those 10 vitamins, exercise, and clean eating, I feel great. So if you have any questions for me, I can gladly help. I've done all this research by myself. None of this was help from a doctor. Maybe one or two vitamins possibly, but that don't, I can't even think of any vitamins that they've recommended. You know, they try to prescribe you medication, which I am completely off of. No medication uh, with this uh, spinal cord injury. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, stay strong, stay active, stay creative, and go help yourself, friends, over and out.